Hey everybody, it's Mr. Giles. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to add music to a, an animation or a project where we've already added sound effects or maybe we have dialogue and we want to add music on top of that. Well, it's actually pretty simple. Once you've exported your video and you have all your sound effects in it, like we have with our uh, bad guy animation, you just bring that finished MP4 or MOV file back into Movie Maker. So I'm going to show you right now. I've opened up Movie Maker and I have files and if you look you might have the same name you want to look at the type of file if you can't see the type of file you're gonna click on this button and go to details and you're gonna look on type and if you put your mouse right here between these two areas you can drag over and you can see mp4 video Movie Maker project file we do not want the project file we want the video so we're gonna drag the video in and drop it now if I hit play I've got a video that already has sound effects okay um, by the way, great job, Ethan, on this video. So um, what we want to do is now we want to add music. So how do we do that? Well, first we've got to get the music, we download it, and then we're going to do what we have did all the time. We're going to just go to add music and say add music at current point or just add music. So I'm going to show you how to download the music. Step two, now that we've got our video in, you're going to uh, go to incompetech.com. That's I-N-C-O-M-P-E-T-E-C-H. If you just type that into Google, it'll be the first it'll be the first thing that pops up and you're going to end up at this website. Then you're going to go to get started with music or royalty free music. And um, we're going to have a whole bunch of music here. Now, uh, the basics are, I'm going to just pick the first song. I have another video on how to search the music in Incompetech, um, but I'm just going to click on this bumming on tremolo. I'm going to click listen. Okay. There's some music there. It sounds like a 50s song, and there's some description here, and it gives a thing, and it says download Bummin' on Tremolo. So I'm going to click download Bummin' on Tremolo. I'm going to make sure that I save it where I know that I want it. So I'm going to put it in my H drive or wherever I was working on my project. Um, I want to keep all those files together. In this case, it was on my desktop. You might be in your H drive, so you want to get into your H drive and take care of a business. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to put it in the where is my monkey animation and I'm going to save it right there okay and it's just downloaded and you should actually see if you're using Google Chrome that it would show uh, where it was and you can actually click on this arrow and say show in folder and it'll pop the folder open and it'll show it so there's my movie my mp4 there's my, my song now I'm going to open up movie maker uh, and I'm going to click on my folder here and I'm just gonna I can drag it in um, probably the better way is to put your cursor right there and say add music at current point and I'm gonna go um, to uh, where's my monkey and where I had it and there's burn it on tremolo where I saved it mp3 I'm gonna say open and there's the music and you can see that it is now on my animation and if I hit play The music is a little quiet, so if I want to bring the volume up, I can adjust it right there. And I think if you go to the um, home tab, or the, I'm sorry, uh, let's say music tools, um, there's some options. Uh, maybe it's under project. Oh, uh, here it is. It says emphasize narration, emphasize video, emphasize music. I'm going to say emphasize music. So the music is louder but we can still hear the sound effects. And now I've got music plus sound effects. And then the final step after I've got my music in is uh, to, uh, I would always save your project, save it. Maybe call this, um, I'm gonna call this Graham Bad Guy Movie um, Music. That saves my project and I can go back and change it later if I want. And then I'm going to save movie for high definition display or in this case for our class we're going to save it for a computer which makes it a slightly smaller file if you're going to upload this to your own youtube channel i would always suggest going the highest quality you can possibly go so in this case it would be the 1080 for high definition display but for today we're going to go for a computer and i'm going to just i'm going to make this uh this is going to make this an mp4 and then that final video is going to have the sound effects and the music boom there you go. Now, finding the music you want, that's a whole other thing, and you can start. You've probably already talked about that, or you can watch the other video that I have on how to uh, add music from Incompetech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.